ஆழ்வார் என்பதுமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஸ்ரீ பகவத்கீதா எயிட்டீன்த் சாப்டர் மோக்ஷோபதேச யோகம் இந்த அத்தியாயம் பகவான் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் தி இம்பாக்ட் ஆஃப் தி த்ரீ குவாலிட்டி சத்வம் ரஜஸ் அண்ட் தமஸ் ஆன் வேரியஸ் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஹி எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் அபவுட் கர்மம் ஞானம் கர்த்தா புத்தி திருத்தி and so on in context of these three qualities when sattva gunam is there when rajo gunam is there when tamo gunam is there how these aspects manifest themselves that was explained previously now he is going to explain the result of such activities result of such efforts which is sukham the pleasure or the happiness which is attained and how this sukham this happiness is seen in different qualities sattvam rajas and tamas that is the topic being topic being addressed by bhagavan in this particular section now this is what we are going to see today starting from 36th shlokam we have seen up to 35th shlokam now we have to see from 36th shlokam bhagavad ramanuja has given gita bhashyam which is a sanskrit வியாக்கியானம் காமெண்ட்ரி ஃபார் ஸ்ரீ பகவத்கீதா வேதாந்த ஆச்சாரிய வேதாந்த தேசிகா கிவன் தாக்கரி சந்திரிகா விச் இஸ் அனதர் சம்ஸ்கிருத காமெண்ட்ரி புத்தூர் ஸ்ரீ வே கிருஷ்ணசாமி ஐயங்கார் ஹஸ் கிவன் டீடைல் தமிழ் காமெண்ட்ரி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தீஸ் டூ சம்ஸ்கிருதம் காமெண்ட்ரிஸ் வி ஹவ் டிரான்ஸ்லேட்டட் தி வேர்ட் பை வேர்ட் மீனிங்ஸ் விச் விச் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் தட் தமிழ் காமெண்ட்ரி பை புத்தூர் சுவாமி we have translated that into english and with the help of this english translation we are going through simple meanings for these gita shlokams let us start from uh, 36th shlokam this particular shlokam 36th shlokam is divided into two parts um, first part is where bhagavan says what he is going to explain in the next few shlokams and the second part of the shlokam is where he starts explaining about sattvika sukham which continues on into the next shlokam so we'll see the first part of that is the shlokam sukham tu idanim trividam shrunu me bharata rishabha let us see the word by word meanings for this part and then we'll see the next part bharata rishabha o leader of bharata clan idanim now sukham tu happiness trividam three kinds may shrunu listen from me so krishna is saying here listen from me the three types of happiness three kinds of happiness he addresses arjuna as leader of bharata clan bharata rishabha that is first part of the sixth shlokam now second part abhyasad ramathe yatra dukkantam cha nigachati this is the second part of 36th shlokam where he starts explaining about sattvika sukham let us see the word by word meanings yatra abhyasat being used to the happiness for long ramate attaining great delight dukkantam cha nigachati ending all the pains in this samsaram this is the beginning of explanation for sattvika sukham bhagavan is saying the sattvika sukham is in the motto of ending all the pains in this samsaram and this sukham will be a great delight for the jivatma such is the nature of this particular sukham one will end up with great delight by this particular sukham by this happiness and his pains in this samsaram will also end that is the explanation for this first part we will continue on in the next uh, part which is in that seventh shlokam yatta dagre visham iva parinami amrutamopamam amrutopamam tat sukham satvikam proktam atma buddhi prasadajam let us see the word by word meaning continuation of previous um, shlokam 
Yet tat that happiness agre while commencing the yoga visham eva appearing to be sorrowful due to lack of practice in atma related aspects and having to undergo hardship due to that so this sattvic sukham is a result of proper engagement in yogam that is dhyanam and uh, proper focus of the mind in atma related matters but because the body uh, the individuals have been used to working based on body and seeking pleasure based on the body only it is not something uh, which they are used to that is seeking pleasure for the atma is not something which they are familiar with hence it will be difficult in the beginning of the yogam at the time of performing the yogam it will be very difficult for the individual to practice it hence it will be sorrowful in the beginning but towards the end it will become joyful because he that he becomes used to it and he becomes um, familiar with it that is what is explained here appearing to be sorrowful initially and pariname at the end of the yoga at the end of the yoga practice the bhakti yoga practice amrutopamam sweet like nectar it will be very very sweet like nectar amrutam means nectar or elixir is elixir is very very sweet due to enjoying the nature of true nature of the atma this experience will be very very sweet atma buddhi prasadajam due to leaving aside matters and enjoying atma exclusively tat sukham that happiness satvikam proktam is said to be caused by sattva gunam so this sukham which is sorrowful in the beginning and joyful in the end and it is sweet like nectar and it will help us leave aside all other matters worldly matters and enjoy atma exclusively such sukham is said to be caused by sattva gunam says bhagavan in this particular shlokam so any sukham which is permanently joyful but sorrowful only in the beginning and that leads to enjoying atma exclusively that particular sukham is caused by sattva gunam that is sattvika sukham that is 37th shlokam now 38th shlokam vishayendriya samyogat yat tadagre amrutopamam pariname vishamiva tat sukham rajasam smritam now he is talking about rajasam sukham this particular sukham happiness in rajogunam in the mode of rajogunam it will be joyful in the beginning but in the end it will be very sorrowful that is the crux of it vishayendriya samyogat due to senses coming into contact with objects like food beverages and so on here the rajasa sukham is mostly based on bodily pleasures the senses um such as tongue nose ears eyes skin skin all of these are the senses and when the objects such as food or beverages they come in contact with tongue for example that gives very joyful feeling for example one gives nice uh tirukannam the por- porridge then one enjoys it at that time immediately as soon as the uh, porridge touches the tongue it tastes very nicely and it's very enjoyable so that is what is explained here agre in the beginning stages of enjoyment yathu tat amrutopamam that happiness which feels like nectar in the beginning even though it feels like nectar it feels very very joyful in the beginning pariname in the end when the result of such enjoyment arises whatever we eat whatever we see whatever we smell when it is joyful it is joyful in the beginning but after the fact when the result comes at that time it will be sorrowful we can take the example of any even prasadam we take too much of some prasadam very sweet chakra pongal sweet pongal we take a lot of it then we may get stomach ache 
so while consuming it it will be nice and after the fact it will be very difficult for the body to digest if you can speak about this in context of prasada what to speak of worldly matters just worldly pleasures they will be joyful in the beginning but in the end it will be sorrow sorrowful so vishami where karinama vishami where in the end it will give uh, that which gives poison like sorrow tat sukham that's happiness rajasam smritam is said to be caused by rajogunam says krishna in this particular shlokam now 39th shlokam it's talking about tamas sukham the happiness which results from tamogunam that is spoken about in this particular shlokam yadagre chanubande cha sukham mohanam atmanah nidralasya pramadottam tat tamasam udahrutam here in this particular shlokam the tamas sukham the sukham which is join a joyful uh, aspect which is occur occurring based on tamogunam is explained here this satya rajo tamogunam is generally having same uh, quality same nature that is satya gunam will lead to goodness rajo gunam will lead to mixture of goodness and suffering tamogunam will lead to more suffering in any aspect this is the same uh, principle which will be applied across the board so here also happiness in satya gunam means it is good happiness in rajo gunam it is bad happiness in tamo gunam it's very very bad that is the basic principle so here let us see the word by word meanings yet that happen the happiness which agre cha in the beginning in the beginning anubandhe cha and subsequent subsequently atmanah for the atma mohanam causes bewilderment so this sukham that is rajas uh, tamasa sukham the sukham the happiness which is derived from tamogunam it will lead to confusion both in the beginning as well as at the end it will lead to bewilderment for the individual individual will not be able to even determine whether it is good or bad such will be the happiness he will get happiness but he will not be able to say whether it is good or bad such will be the happiness which is uh, derived from tamogunam so it causes bewilderment and nidra alasya pramadottam caused by sleep lethargy and carelessness one will sleep a lot one will be very lethargic very lazy and one will also be careless pramadam means careless generally we may think pramadam is very good but the actual mean of meaning of pramadam is carelessness so sleep lethargy carelessness these lead to some happiness even when we sleep we may get some happiness but that is a uh, happiness in the mode of tamogunam so that is explained here that tat sukham that happiness tamasam udahrutam is said to be tamasa happiness that is tamasa sukham says krishna in this particular explanation in this particular shlokam putu swami in his commentary explains that um, sleep when it comes to sleep one should only sleep especially those who seek liberation they should sleep only 6 hours because when one sleeps more than 6 hours it will not be good for the body as well and when he, when one sleeps very less also it will cause harm only because body needs certain amount of rest and it is recommended in shastra that one sleeps 6 hours generally so that is also highlighted by putur swami in the commentary so this tamasa sukham is a result of sleep lethargy and carelessness and it is also bewildering both in the beginning as well as at the end of the process so that is the nature of tamasa sukham as explained by bhagavan with this we will stop today and we will continue on in the next session alvar in barmana jiya tirudi gale sharanam jiya tirudi gale sharanam to learn such valuable information about our sri vaishnava sampradaya please download koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store our website is koil.org k o 
yil.org